This is Gene Key, KDD, Texas News. WFAA.com reports a Dallas woman survived a frightening ordeal Sunday morning. She was carjacked, kidnapped, and forced to withdraw money from ATMs. The woman told police she was taken from the parking lot of her apartment complex on Vintage Point Drive in Lake Highlands around 12.30 a.m. After the gunman got cash at several ATMs, the woman said they dumped her in a neighborhood near Fair Park in South Dallas. That's where Carlos Jimenez came to her aid. Jimenez didn't think twice about helping the woman who approached him in front of his home on Fitzhugh Avenue near Fair Park. She said the men drove her to multiple ATMs. They forced her to take out money at the ATMs all in the same area. And it didn't end there. The victim told detectives that one of the kidnappers got out of her car on Greenville Avenue, and seconds later, she heard a gunshot. The kidnappers later dumped her in Jimenez's neighborhood. Jimenez comforted her as they both waited for police to arrive. The suspect's car was found abandoned a few blocks away. The gunman remained at large. KVUE.com reports state troopers have seized 51.2 pounds of cocaine during a traffic stop, according to a press release from the DPS, dated March 16th. Troopers said they pulled over the suspected vehicle for multiple traffic violations. Twenty bundles of cocaine were found inside the vehicle weighing 51.2 pounds and carrying an estimated street value of $1.5 million, according to the press release. The woman driving the vehicle was arrested and faces multiple federal charges. The Associated Press reports trucks carrying low-level radioactive waste from 38 states will likely begin traveling Texas highways as early as April. They'll be bound for a dump site near the New Mexico border. A Texas commission overseeing the disposal is expected Friday to approve the final ruling changes needed. The waste burial will end a years-long effort by waste control specialists to win permission from Texas officials to accept the waste at a 1,340-acre tract. The company's majority owner is big-time political contributor Harold Simmons. Opponents say his Dallas-based company has benefited from connections to Governor Rick Perry, who makes appointments to the state's environmental commission that regulates the site. Trucking the waste is a concern to opponents. But a company spokesperson says highway accidents are infrequent. If you would like the latest Dumas, Panhandle, and Texas news on your mobile device, you can follow KDD News on YouTube. Simply search KDDD or Gene Key on Facebook or Twitter. This is Gene Key, SkyServe News.